this is the road we used to take. If it weren't for her, in the grounds on that bench in spring, so many days. It was an escape, watching nature around us as she talked and smiled. And then there were the kitchens. Sometimes we stole food and ran back to the bench to eat it in secret, and we laughed. She did things to me. Sometimes she touched me. In the shower, I felt her body against mine for the first time. It was a shiver that warmed my soul. Eyes closed, the light slipped away. She wasn't in the system. He wouldn't let her in. That's it. She must be the key. The key to my memories. To the reasons why. Nature helped me to forget. To escape from the system. The scent of spring. The land of light was far away, and we spent the days chatting on the stone benches. Let's look for Amara in the kitchens, in the basement of the building, behind the greenhouse.
Come on, come on, let's look everywhere. She must be here, I'm certain. Keep looking. We mustn't give up. Where could she be? We've got to talk to her. Everything will be all right. But being here now, I don't like it. Come on, let's look for her, quickly. We can't stay in here too long. They'll find us. When they found us. Come on, hurry. We've got to find her quickly. We've got to get out of here. They'll find us. But not now. Not yet. Amara's not here. Maybe she's in the showers. We can find her there. The water was often cold. When it was cold, we ran away. But when it was hot, then she came to Rene under that cruel white light. I can still feel the shivers her body gave me. Everything must return to how it was. If we recreate that magic, she'll come to us. We have to turn the water on in the showers and switch the boiler on. All the plumbing systems were in the kitchen area.
Now everything is ready. We can go to the bathrooms. We can go along that narrow corridor in the kitchens. We'll meet her in the showers, yes. Now everything is ready. We can go to the bathrooms. We can go along that narrow corridor in the kitchens. We'll meet her in the showers, yes. Not in this ward. Not in observation, remember? Let's go to the calm ward. Everything's ready. Let's get undressed and leave our clothes on the hooks in the changing rooms. Let's turn the water on now, and everything will be as before.
Amara was the only thing Rene had. They separated them. Rene went to the slightly agitated ward, the one that terrified everybody. Those injections were a torture, the just punishment for what I was doing. And what about her? Who knows where Amara was? They had taken me upstairs into the ward where no one wanted to go. Look for Renee's room in the slightly agitated ward. When there was too much chaos, they closed all the windows and the door. They turned off the lights, and it was pitch black. Some people fell asleep, some others stopped seeing their demons, and became more calm. Montefoscoli, December 20th, 1941. Dear Director, could you please let me know how my daughter, your patient Renee T, is getting along? I've written to my daughter several times, but have received no reply. I'm very worried, particularly as I've been ill for some time and have not been well enough to come and visit her. Please kindly let me know when it will be possible for me to bring my daughter home. Your humble servant, Ada T. Bring this letter to the attention of Dr. C so he can assess the potential discharge of the patient.
jacket on you. They gave you a cold shower. They suffocated you with a sheet. They tied you to the bed. They tied me to the bed. A woman died next to me, choked by her own vomit. She was tied down because she wouldn't stop pleasuring herself. I can still hear her death rattle. I screamed, but nobody came. Everybody screamed in there, all of them. It was then I saw the doll, which wasn't Charlotte. No, she wasn't Charlotte. The past was like the present, that doll, that man, the shame. Renée was increasingly divorced from reality. How will I ever find out what really happened? How will I ever find Amara again if I can't even find myself?' <laughs>